Time to get to the Miller Lite Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline and share our picks for Week 3 of the WCTC Pro Football Pick'em Challenge. And we're also going to talk about a very cool event that's coming up to raise awareness with October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a cool event that is going to begin at his dealership in Edison. Of course, I'm talking about the general manager of Mercedes-Benz of Edison, a Ray Katina company. We have Doug Wells uh, back with us today. Good morning, Doug. How you doing today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm good. I feel very optimistic about game or week three's uh, games, and we'll get to our picks uh, in just a moment here. Uh, what are you driving today, Doug? Talk about the uh, cool car that you're driving around in these days. Today I'm in the 2019 GLC. It is an incredible SUV. It's uh, dominating its particular segment in, in the SUVs. You know, when it came out a couple of years ago, it was the SUV of the year. Um, it's, uh, it's the, uh, it's the reincarnated version of what Mercedes Benz had as the uh, GLK. Mm-hmm. And if you're looking for just a safe, fun, uh, economical SUV, and more affordable than you think, it's something that everybody should pass by and take a test drive. Awesome. When I think about a Mercedes Benz SUV, Doug, that to me is like the best of both worlds because you kind of got a cool, rugged car being an SUV. But, man, you get inside that thing, and it's like being in a luxurious car, isn't it? It's 100%. And one of the things a I lot of people never, never realize is that the insurance costs on these cars are a lot lower than everything else because Mercedes-Benz has the lowest fatality rating, and they have the lowest theft rating. Wow. And those are so, so you buy a Mercedes-Benz, you would think it would have the highest cost for insurance, and it does not. Awesome to know. Hey, in Jersey, uh, whatever you could get, you get, of course. That's uh, that's interesting stuff there, Doug. Thanks for sharing that. All right, uh, how about the picks for Week 3? Why don't we start with tonight? And uh, I am dreading this game uh, with the Jets going into Cleveland. The Browns have been so close for two weeks. The Jets looked awful last week against the Dolphins. So uh, I'm going with the Cleveland Browns tonight, Doug. As painful as it is to say the Jets will lose to the Browns, i got to go with Cleveland tonight. Uh, Cleveland has been been playing extremely good ball. They just haven't been getting the, you know what they deserve. Um, I think they are the surprise team of the year just by the way they're playing. Um, I, I and at home, especially I remember back in the day with the dog pound. I, I lean. I'm going to lean with you. I hate to go against the Jets because I love my home teams yeah. to win. I will. I, I do lean towards Cleveland. This game scares the you-know-what out of me, and it's because Cleveland has been so close these two weeks. And the Jets, I can remember being about 12 or 13 years old, Doug, and the Jets were hosting the New Orleans Saints at the old uh, Shea Stadium. The Saints were 0-14, and they beat the Jets that day. So anything's (laughs) the Jets are known for letting other teams end long losing streaks, and I think tonight the the people of Believeland finally get to celebrate a win by their Browns. And uh, it's been a long time coming. I hate to take the Browns, but I think I have to tonight. Uh, Some other picks that I had, Doug, and tell me what you think of this. Uh, New Orleans at Atlanta. I like the Falcons. Great game against Carolina last week. Uh, The Saints barely survived Cleveland. Uh, I have Atlanta beating the Saints uh, tonight. Did you have them also? I like the Falcons, but I wouldn't count the Saints out of this thing. I think the game's going to be a lot closer than everybody thinks. Yeah, this is a close one. Uh, The other game, and I I didn't pick a lot of road teams to win this week. Uh, But one I did take was Green Bay going into Washington. I know Green Bay had a tie last week. They had a big come-from-behind win in Week 1. I am so confident about Green Bay going into Washington that I made the Green Bay Packers my survivor pick this week. Um, Wow. Yeah. Kind of of a risk? What do you think? I like Green Uh, Bay. Aaron Rodgers doesn't lose. I I like Green Bay. I actually like it. I mean, my survivor pick, which I think is pretty much a slam dunk, it's taking the Bears over the Cardinals. Really? Oh, yeah, the Cardinals are dreadful this year. You're right. Yeah, that's a good call. Though. That's a good call by you. But so who do you like in that game? Do you like at least Green Bay to win the game uh, at Washington? I do like Green Bay to take the, to, to win that game because I think it's time for them to do it. Yeah, I agree. All right, a couple of other picks. Uh, uh, we have, I have Philadelphia. Uh, they get back on track this week against the Colts. Uh, I think uh, they kind of got a wake-up call last week against Tampa Bay. Uh, I have them very easily beating uh, Indianapolis. Uh, Minnesota will add to the misery of the Buffalo Bills uh, when they host uh, Buffalo this weekend. I have Minnesota at home. Uh, Miami, a a very disheveled uh, Oakland Raiders team visits Miami. Uh, I have the Dolphins uh, taking the Raiders. Uh, You you agree with me on those picks, Doug? I do. I lean towards the Dolphins on that one. Okay. And that's that's one of those weird games also. Yeah. 
Um, I also lean towards the Eagles against the Colts. Mm -hmm. Uh, Denver visits Baltimore. Uh, Denver was one of the few road picks that I had this week. Something about Denver, they're 2-0. I know they won two close games. I I don't know. I think they're going to go to Baltimore. That that is a tough place to go play uh, in Baltimore there to play the Ravens. Uh, But Denver is one of the few road teams that that I picked this week. Who do you have in that one? You have Baltimore or Denver? I actually have uh, Baltimore in that game. Do you? Okay. All right. Uh, some other games coming up. Uh, see, this is a tough one when it's Cincinnati at Carolina because you know my rule at home. I have to take the team that has the cat mascot. So what do you do when one cat team is playing another cat team? So uh, my wife insisted we go with the Carolina Panthers because they were at home. Uh, I would go with the, I would go with that because I actually lean towards Carolina on that one also. Okay. I know Cincinnati's 2-0, and but uh, I like Carolina in that game. Uh, also, uh, 0-2 Giants at the 0-2 Houston Texans. I think J.J. Watt and uh, Eli Manning are going to be very good friends. They're going to spend a lot of time in the backfield together on Sunday, the way that Giants offensive line is playing. Uh, Houston gets their first win, and I think they absolutely pace the Giants. What do you think? Um, I, I'm going to go with the Giants on this one because i got are a you? funny feeling they're going to come up with a game, with a game plan to let, that, to let the running game Finally, start to give the offensive line uh, the, the, so when they go into a passing play, give them the ability to uh, to get the ball off. Okay, could be a big uh, maybe a big day for Odell. You don't know, right? Could be. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Tennessee visits Jacksonville. Uh, I have the uh, Jaguars in that one. They push it to three and zero. San Francisco at Kansas City. The Chiefs finally get to play a home game after they demolish two very good teams uh, on the road. They get the 49ers at home uh, this week, uh, easily going with the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, The battle for Los Angeles, Chargers at Rams. The Rams are kind of the sexy pick to win the NFC. Uh, That's a good game on paper. And uh, I take the Rams uh, in the battle of L.A. Who do you like in that one? I'm with the Rams also. I just think because the Chargers, for some reason, they they don't play until the fourth quarter or... (laughs) They play right. real well, and they disappear in the fourth quarter. You're right. We'll so, see what's, uh, what, what, I, what the Phillips Rivers teams uh, is going to show up this week, right? Yep. Yeah. Dallas at Seattle. Uh, I like Seattle at home. That's a tough place for any team to, to go to and play in as the road team, uh, Seattle Seahawks. Uh, I like your pick, uh, Chicago. I have the Bears on the road going to Arizona. Boy, the, the Cardinals not long ago were a very good team. Uh, they still have uh, Larry Fitzgerald. He's a, an exciting playmaker. Uh, they just don't have uh, the rest of the team, I think, uh, to to be competitive at all this year. And uh, and the Bears uh, at Arizona, I have the Bears, but do you have Chicago as your your survivor pick this week? That's how confident you are in that one. That is correct. Okay. And, the, uh, and I think they're gonna they're gonna blow them out. Just it's just the way they played against Seattle, that defense. Yeah. Just it was incredible. Uh, and then the other pick, them if you didn't like that one, is I mean I lean toward the Patriots over the Lions. Yeah, we'll go with uh, the Patriots uh, visiting Detroit uh, on Sunday night. That's uh, that's a good matchup. Uh, I, I don't know where the Lions are. Boy, the Lions go 0-3. That's a, that's a, dig, a big hole to kind of crawl out of. But uh, Patriots-Lions, uh, I, you know, I had to take the Cat team. You know, I, I just think the Patriots are going to win, but the uh, rule is take the Lions. And uh, the Monday night game has Pittsburgh growing across country. Oh, no, no, they're going south. They're playing Tampa Bay. Now, this is the 2-0 and Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Ryan Fitzpatrick at quarterback, who when he played for the Jets, Doug, he stood back there and wondered why the football had two points on either end and never threw it and never did anything to move the ball down the field. All of a sudden now, he's like the second coming of Joe Montana. They're 2-0 and on national TV Monday night. They get the Pittsburgh Steelers. I like Tampa Bay to kind of keep the momentum going. How about you? I agree. I just think there's a lot of turmoil going on in that Pittsburgh team that everybody's not focused. Yeah, that's right. They, they have a, a player who's holding out, too, who's been uh, been a problem as well, right? Yep. Yeah, that's tough. So I, think, I think so. I, I do lean towards the Buccaneers. Okay, so uh, we have a lot of similar picks this week, a couple different ones. We urge our audience to go to WCTCAM.com and get your picks in. we got a couple hours still to go before Week 3 kicks off tonight with the Jets at the Browns, and uh, we'll see how we do this week. And, again, uh, we're playing for this uh, great remote control car at the end of the season, uh, courtesy of Doug Wells. And also the weekly prize, uh, Rutgers football tickets uh, are going to go to the winner uh, each week. Uh, our local WCTC winner is going to get some Rutgers football tickets. So play every week and uh, and have some fun with it and just pick winners and, and really enjoy what we have online. Uh, Doug, before we go, uh, there's a special event coming up at your dealership, and uh, I applaud you for doing uh, this work here with Susan G. Komen for The Cure. 
Uh, I do volunteer work with them on an annual basis, and I'm so glad you're being a part of this. The driving awareness event uh, that's going to happen at Ray Katina on Sunday, October 14th. Uh, talk about what's going to be happening that day. So we're doing that as the entire Ray Katina Auto Group. Um, we're inviting, you know, people that are our customers, even people that are not our customers, anybody that's got a, a specialty type car, which in, when I mean specialty type car, it could be a, a 69 Camaro, it could be a brand new Ferrari, it could be an AMG car, it could be a Porsche, it can be a, you know, a super, you know, any kind of car that's a really tricked out car. Our game plan is we want to drive for awareness, to create some awareness for Susan G. Coleman, mm-hmm. is to everybody meet the, at the Edison location where we have a bunch of our brands, have all the cars line up, have a little coffee, some breakfast, and then everybody will get in their cars, and we're going to take the ride down, half-hour ride south, and go to uh, we're going to end up, um, who asked us to get involved with this, we're going to end up at the uh, Garmani store in Red Bank, New Jersey, because um, Susan G. Coleman and Garmani asked us to, to participate in this, and we just thought it would be a great way to get create a little bit of awareness. Uh, we'll have some prizes, some trophies. There's going to be, you know, hopefully we get a big turnout. We got a lot of great cars for people to look at, you know, and uh, and uh, you know, I know the young people like to see all these cool cars in one location. And uh, to me, it's just a good day for people to take out their. If the weather's great, people take out their toys. Yeah. For a little while to benefit a great cause, and uh, and you know, we like to do whatever we can for in the charitable side of the fence. And to me, this is a simple thing to do on a Sunday morning to help create awareness. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's the Driving Awareness with Ray Katina event. Again, it'll happen on Sunday, October 14th, uh, beginning right there at uh, Ray Katina Mercedes-Benz of Edison at 8 a.m. Uh, we'll drive down to this beautiful clothing store in downtown Red Bank. It, the stuff in there is just gorgeous. If you've ever had a chance to visit uh, Garmani there, uh, there'll be some cars. Uh, we'll have some coffee. There'll be a DJ. We'll do some trophies and some awards. And uh, the event will wrap up at 12 noon uh, on October 14th. But you can visit RayKatinaEdison.com. Uh, get some more information. Uh, get your car entered in this. And uh, we're raising awareness for some uh, great cause in Susan G. Komen. And uh, I, I just love the idea that the Ray Katina family is part of this here, Doug. So thank you so much for the work you're doing with Susan G. Komen. And uh, this is just a great thing to do. You got a pink Mercedes that maybe I could use for the day and drive down there? Oh, we're toying with wrapping something pink. <laughs> All right, cool. Very good. Excellent stuff. Doug Wells uh, from Ray Katina, thank you for your, uh, the time today. Good luck with your picks this weekend, and uh, we'll recap, uh, see how we did on Tuesday. All right, my man? You got it. Thank you.